now last, but certainly not least, uh, we have our last speaker for the black community, Mr. Benson Kwaku Jai Brimpong Mentabansu. <laughs> prepares to descend on the National Morgue, I would like to reflect on my journey thus far. <laughs> Some of you may not know this, but I've been a part of the GW family since 2002, when my elder brother, Pops Mensabonsu, created history with the men's basketball team. Every time I visited the campus, I received nothing but love as Pops' brother. I couldn't purchase socks from Marshalls with my debit card without the cashier inquiring about my affiliation with Pops. I loved that experience, but I had no intentions of, att of attending GW. Why? I didn't want to live, his, live in his six foot nine shadow. <laughs> when it came to choosing a university to attend, I was waitlisted at my number one and number two selection. I had no intentions of attending the small schools who recruited me for athletics. I wasn't ready to move back home to London. On the day of on the day of the GW admission deadline, I decided to apply because I felt I had nothing to lose. Within 48 hours of my submission, I was informed that I needed to send a $500 check to GW. I was confused as to why they demanded more money from me after I had literally just paid my application. I soon realized that I had been accepted into GW. I was the dark-skinned, handsome guy that Tim Miller was angered at for showing up at numerous colonial inaugurations. <laughs> Since my official inception into GW, I've embarked on an amazing journey. My tuition bill is not the only thing that shows the value of my education. <laughs> I've witnessed the inauguration of America's first African-American president. I've been held hostage in my dorm by Mother Nature during snow apocalypse. <laughs> I've broken bread with some of the most successful exec executives within the sports world. And I did it all with you. If all, the, if all difficulties were known at the outset of a long journey, most of us would have never started at all. This is why I thank every entity at GW for its impact in my college education and its impact on my life. I thank my roommates for barely cleaning our living space, <laughs> but for guaranteeing me a good time. I thank the conglomerate, the Black Men's Initiative, No Ceilings, the Alphas, the Sigmas, the Kappas, For being the positive leadership, for being the positive leadership representation of black males on campus. And the Chiefs, that's all. <laughs> I thank my homegirls, the AKAs, the Deltas, the Zetas, SLU, for showing me the trials and tribulations that women go through, especially with their hair. <laughs> I thank the MSSC for allowing me to print over 10,000 pages of tables, <laughs> slides, and articles at the discounted rate of free. <laughs> I thank the Multicultural Business Student Association, Student Association, and School of Business for allowing me to pursue my entrepreneurial endeavors through these numerous organizations. I thank the Organization of Latino American Students for ensuring that my hips would never lie. <laughs> I thank the Black Student Union for being active when activism was needed. I thank our alumni for paving the way. 
I thank the underclassmen for leveraging the future, of, the future value of my degree. A journey is best measured in friends, not by miles. I want to personally thank the multi community for giving me the agape love that many individuals couldn't find in their own homes. So I ask that you join me in singing this song. Although we've come to the end of the road, still I can't let you go. It's unnatural. You belong to me. I belong to you. Come to the end of the road. Still I can't. It's unnatural. You belong to me. I belong to you. to a journey, but it's the journey that matters in the end. Thank you.